Hi, this is Mitch Doan, and along with Jamie Richardson, we're your hosts of the Breakthrough Active podcast. We aim to deep dive into health and fitness that will help bring you a better understanding of topics that are of interest to you and can help you on your own journey. If you are enjoying the episodes, we'd love for you to leave us a rating on the platform you listen to your podcasts. Enough from me, sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Welcome back again to the Breakthrough Active Podcast. My name is Mitch, I am your host. Today we've got a very boring topic. I wish I could say that it was exciting, but sometimes you need to do the boring stuff and you need to do it well. And this one that I wanted to discuss today is water intake and a few quick tips and a few ways that we can increase how much water we drink and what our water intake is on a day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, year-to-year basis. So as much as I would love to say that it was a super exciting topic, it's not, but nevertheless one that is really important to our overall health and one that has been discussed Uh, With me a little more lately, we are running a challenge at the moment and a big part of that challenge is increasing water intake and there's been a few questions around what are some ways to increase this and make it a bit easier because some people have found it a little bit challenging to to reach the the levels of water each day that they are aiming to achieve. Throughout our challenge, the number that we are aiming to hit each day is two and a half liters. So there is a little bit of um, difference of opinion with how much water uh, people drink. You know, it is actually relative to how much you weigh, but just to keep it basic and to keep it easy to track, we've just made it two and a half liters for, for everyone. If you are someone who is a little bit bigger, Um, then perhaps you need a little bit more if it is warmer weather, which at the moment being August, it's not, but during the warmer months and throughout summer, especially if you are outside, you are going to want to dramatically increase this number. But here during the winter time, and just to keep things, uh, I guess, easy to to track, like I mentioned, we're we're leaving that at two and a half liters for everyone. So wanted to discuss some of the tips and some of the ways that we can increase how much we drink without having to, you know, when we get to the end of the day and realize we still need to drink a whole liter and we're sitting there at 8.30 at night trying to, to pound back a liter of water before we go to bed. So a couple of tips that I have found to be really helpful for myself in my personal experience and also with helping clients who are looking to, to make improvements here. Uh, first one is to drink early on in the day. So I have found for myself and for others that if you are going to you know, be getting up early or you know even at a normal time each day, if you have a lot of water within the first 30 to 60 minutes from waking up, then you're going to set yourself up for the day to come. So what I like to do before I even leave the house, you know, quite often at you know 4:30, quarter to five in the morning. I'll have about 600 mils of water before I even leave. I've got different bottles of water and a 600 mil. One I will try to knock back before I even leave the house. Reason I do that is, you know, I I often wake up quite thirsty, so that makes it easier. But also I find that if I do get that start on the day with my water, it means that realistically I've only got 1.9 litres of water to drink for the rest of the day that I'm awake. And that's, you know, for me somewhere between... 14 and 16 hours after that. So find that drinking early really puts me in a good position to be able to attain my water goals each day. And it's become a second nature to me. I, I drink early and I get that done throughout my morning sessions where I'm often running them at the gym. I'll have a big bottle of water and I'll normally get close to getting through a big 1.25 or 1.5 litre bottle by the time you know 7.30 or 8 o'clock rolls around. So. If you do some quick math there, I've probably had about a litre and a half or two litres of water and it's not even eight o'clock yet. So setting myself up to succeed to the point where where I never really have any problem drinking two and a half, three, three and a half, four litres of water each day because I drink so much and I drink it early. So I found this to be helpful for other people too, regardless of what your job is or what time you get up if you make it a priority to drink water and drink a lot of it within the first 30 to 60 minutes of you waking up then it's really going to set you up for the rest of the day so 
it can be very easy to get to, to morning tea or lunchtime and realize you barely had a drink of water and just making this one little change can make a huge difference. So if you find that you are struggling, then this can really help. So it's something you can implement from tomorrow and give it a try and see how it goes. Hey guys, just very quickly, if you have been enjoying our podcast and you've been watching us on YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe to our channel. If you've been listening to our podcast, give us a follow, give us a five-star rating on Apple or Spotify or wherever it is that you've been listening to us. It really helps the channel grow and I would be extremely appreciative and grateful if you took a moment to do that for me. Okay, that's it from me. Enjoy the rest of the show. Uh, number two is to take a bottle of water wherever you go with you. So whether you're going to the shops, whether you're going to a friend's place, whether you're going for a walk, whether you're going just for a drive, uh, obviously if you're going to work, have a bottle of water with you at all times. It's going to be a lot easier <clears throat> and it's almost going to be a subconscious thing where you reach for that bottle of water very often uh, instead of having to go and buy a bottle of water or go and fill up your water bottle or go and get a cup of water or a glass of water. It's going to be a hell of a lot easier when you've got that bottle right there with you, either in your hand or right next to you. So if you've got a busy day, pop it in your bag, carry it with you, have it in the car, never have it too far from where you're at. And I promise you this will automatically increase how much water you drink. Uh, a bit of a pro tip for this too is make sure it's a big bottle. You know, having a 600 ml bottle compared to having a 1.25 liter or 1.5 liter bottle, it's gonna be a lot easier if you've got the big bottle, more likely to drink it all and then perhaps fill it up again. But if you do feel, uh, if you do complete and drink that whole 600 ml one, then it's likely that you might not fill it up again. So a big bottle makes it even easier. Uh, third one, have a big glass of water before every meal. So if you think about your three main meals and your snacks, you're gonna be eating somewhere between three to five to six times a day. If you have a glass of water or a big, big drink of water, 200, 300 mils before every meal, that's gonna automatically be somewhere between one liter and 1.5 liters just from that, uh, that water that you drink before you have each one, uh, each meal. That's not even including any other water that you have throughout the day, during your workout, obviously after your meals or during your meals. But if you make it a priority to have a big drink as you are about to start each of those meals, then you're going to be able to tick off a big portion and big part of the water that you should be having each day. So it can be a bit of an adjustment. Sometimes you, you are so hungry that you, you don't want to think about water and you don't want to even um, you know, entertain the thought of it being there. But if you just make it a habit like a lot of things, then it's going to make things a lot easier for you when you are looking at that overall amount of water you're having each day. So a big glass of water or big drink of water before each meal. Uh, and then the last one. So quite often we'll hear that, that people just simply don't really like the taste of water. Um, personally, I don't quite understand it because water doesn't really have a taste. It's just something that you drink and it hydrates you and it makes you feel good in my opinion but I, I can appreciate because i've heard it so many times that people get sick of having water and that's bland taste or lack thereof you know makes it hard to to be able to drink over and over and over again so if you are someone who shares that thought then adding a flavor to your water can be something that's really beneficial uh, whether it is some sort of supplement, you know, there are, you know, BCAA amino acids uh, or other sort of supplements that you can add to your water, uh, which also have other health benefits. But I think if nothing else, it does encourage you to drink more water if you're liking the taste of it. Uh, or something even a bit easy in that you can just add diet cordial to your water. Uh, make sure it is diet because if you are having normal cordial, then you're having extra sugar and extra calories, which we don't necessarily want. Uh, but having a bit of diet cordial can also be helpful especially if it's a flavor that you like so not from a health perspective are you needing flavor but i think like i mentioned if it does encourage you to drink more water then it is going to be one of those hacks and one of those tips just to uh to help you along especially if you have been struggling with it and you feel like that you are someone who just doesn't really like the the taste of water so they're my four best tips drink early in the day take a bottle of water with you, have a big glass or big drink before every meal, and then add flavor if you are someone who feels like the water gets a bit boring. So 
I hope that these have helped. Don't necessarily have to apply all of them straight away. Maybe pick the one that is most appealing to you and start it from today or start it from tomorrow and see how it goes. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you on the next one. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If there is a topic you'd like us to discuss that we haven't already, please make sure you reach out in Facebook Messenger and we'll do our best to cover it in the upcoming episodes. For those of you enjoying the podcast, we'd love for you to like, subscribe and leave us a rating. It really helps us grow and spread the good word. Hoping you're all having a great day and we'll be sure to see you on the next one.